Now that we've whitened the eyes and changed the eye color, there's probably still a little bit of room for us to make the eyes pop a little bit by brightening them. Occasionally when I've walked past a magazine stand, I've seen the cover of a magazine where the retouches brighten someone's eyes. And I think what they've used is the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Now that's not a very good idea because if there's any color inside the eye, if there are any red veins or any color whatsoever, what the brightness and contrast tends to do is oversaturate those colors. And more often than not, the white space inside the eyes has been pushed a little too far, so it's become a little blown out. And I'll give a quick little demonstration now. So if I zoom in, command space bar, click and drag, in on the eyes. Now I'm already on the lasso tool. And I'll just make a rough selection of the eyes. And I'll come down to my adjustment layers and click on brightness and contrast. So all we can really do here is push the brightness. So if I dra drag the brightness slider and drag it to the right, very quickly those eyes become looking they look a little unnatural or very unnatural and uh, very blown out and if there was any color whatsoever any veins inside the whites of the eyes here then those colors would be oversaturated and it would just look very wrong so a much better way of doing this in order to avoid this blown out effect and oversaturation is to use a levels adjustment layer so i'm going to drag this brightness and contrast layer into the trash and I'm going to make another selection of the eyes, just a rough one. Come down here toward my adjustment layers, click on levels. One thing I don't want to do here is to drag my white point and drag it into the left because that's going to push the white space way too far and the eyes are going, going to become blown out. So I drag that back to the right. What I need to do is grab my midpoint here and drag that to the left to brighten up. So that, that way the eyes are brightening, yet the white space isn't going to the point where there's absolutely no ink in there or color in the eyes whatsoever. So I'll push that a little bit to the left. And the eyes are looking much brighter. And uh, you can see what's happening is that the, the blacks and the colors are starting to lose their vibrancy. But So what we can do is we now grab our black point and drag that in to the right. And if I do a quick before and after, before and after, then the eyes are definitely a little brighter, have definitely got a lot more pop. So what I'm going to do is fill this mask with black and then paint in some white, paint in this levels layer back in. So to bring up my default black and white background and foreground, I'll hit the D key. Black's currently my background color. So command delete to fill my mask with black, get onto my brush tool with the B key, zoom in a little closer and just start brushing in that brightness. Command minus just to pan back a little bit so I can see the overall effect. So quick before and after, before and after. And that's a subtle improvement. And what we've done is we've exaggerated the contrast between the blacks and the midtones. Command zero to fit to window. So that's how we can whiten and brighten the eyes and change the eye color.